Hi everyone, welcome back to Game Dev Vids. I'm Tim. Today we're going to look at using Cinti's Animation Locomotion Package and how you can use that to switch from the crash test dummy that it comes with to animating a character of your very own. So first up, as usual, a huge thanks to my patrons, without whom none of this would be possible. Without further ado, let's jump in. So the first thing you're going to need to do is make sure that you've got the Animation Locomotion Package installed within. I've already got mine, but otherwise you can go Window, Package Manager, find it in here, and then hit Import. Or if you've got that in a folder, all you need to do is just drag the animation package anywhere into your project and it'll automatically kick off the import process. Alright, I've got mine here, so what we'll do is we'll grab our locomotion dummy, we'll bring in the crash test dummy. Here we go, we're in the scene. Let's make sure we're working. And here we are. So you can see we can walk, strafe, run. Sneak, and if we run and sneak, we can pull off a little slide. Alright, but this crash test dummy doesn't really feel like he suits our project, so let's hit escape to capture our cursor again. Let's exit and return back to the scene view. So what we're going to do is expand things, and you'll see we've got the player object here, which is vacant, and then the polygon Cinti character, which contains all of these scripts. So what we want to do is select our player, Prefab, we'll unpack him completely, and then we select our Polygon Cinti character, and below that you will find we have the mesh and the root. Now the root is our skeleton, and this is our character, so we'll just delete those. Then we'll go down to Polygon Pirates, grab our Prefabs characters, we'll bring her into the scene. Alright, now I'm going to leave this as a Prefab, so we'll just bring this into the Cinti character and attach it here. And then the next step we want to do is we want to select the top layer. So in our animator we have a controller selected, so in here the options are feminine and masculine, so we'll switch over to feminine to fit in with our character. And then in the avatar what we want to do is just select this, and then we'll just shrink our view down, and we want to select the avatar that comes from the pirates pack because that's what we're using. Now the avatar is a part of the character mesh, and that's what Unity uses to bind the character to the Mechanium Humanoid Skeleton, so you need to make sure you choose the correct one. So there we go, there's our carrot. Our avatar from Pirates, so we'll bring that in, and now our governor's daughter, you'll notice we're sitting in the wrong spot, so we'll just reset those back to zero so that we're zeroed out. Alright, here we go. We've got our avatar, we've got our animator, let's hit play. she's all ready to go. We can go for a walk, we can run, we can pull off a slide, we can sneak, and we can jump. And that's all there is to it. Thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.